starting here. Okay, so I had a request from, from somebody for Chinese breakdown, and I wanted to fulfill that request, and I'm putting it off, not doing it for some reason. It's not a tune I normally play, so I sat down with the YouTube for a minute and found this one. It says Chinese breakdown, old time fiddling, Andrew Maroniak or something. Uh, I think Chinese is spelled wrong, but I think if you find it, you'll 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 find you'll find this video. I turned I've um, put it down to three quarter speed, which is a little easier, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna play along with it first, so you can hear the tune because you want to be able to hear the fiddle and know how the tune goes. And um, I do urge you to, as you're working with these tunes, to just find somebody on YouTube that plays a version that sounds good with what you're doing and play along with it. Um, I mean, you can play along with a metronome, but it's more fun to have a fiddle and a guitar and stuff. So here, let's just play along with this one time through and then we'll break it down and teach it. Chinese breakdown. And we're in the key of D, um, double D. Um, so those are your your A's and there's your D's here. Let's go. in the fiddle the fiddle is doing all the da 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 we're just gonna go dum da da dum because you know that's a fiddle's job you don't have to do that I did um, it, we, you can do it a little bit if you want if it gets really fast you're gonna find it's gonna slow you down on the banjo to do that so the first note is this um, or this or uh, but that's not actually the downbeat, the first note of the tune. That's the lead-in note. Da dum bum 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 bum. Da dum bum 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 bum. So let's just let's just hit the, the second, um, the third string to be that lead-in note. Um, for now, later on, you might want to take that third string and. Especially, not necessarily at the very beginning of the tune, but as you're going into it from the end of the, the last time you played it and going into it. Okay, start with just the, the third string. And then it's going to be second string. This, so that's second and third open. Pull off, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, a bum, diddy, bum. So we have... The next thing we we have is um, it's going to transition to the five chord instead of the one chord, but we're not going to have a chance to play that because we're going to be doing things down here. But if this is a five chord, an A chord, and this is another kind of a these notes here, um, I'm just getting my other fingers out of the way for you. Don't do that. Um, um, these are another way to play sort of a half half-assed five chord. Um, uh, we're gonna do that with this note. So, um, uh, that's what we did so far. Then we have the lead in note again. That's all the same. Except now, this time, instead of going to the fourth, we're going to the fifth fret. Yeah, bum, dandy, bum. And a lot of these, we're going to want to play just the note that we're playing, not brushes, because some of these strings are not in the chord that should be happening right there. And we're not going to go diddy, diddy, diddy. We're just going to go bum, diddy, bum. So... Moving on. Okay, so what 
we're doing is that third string lead in note again. That's on the third string. Pull off diddy bum bum. Pull off diddy bum diddy bum bum. Bum diddy bum. So, fourth fret, open, pull up at the second, pull off diddy. So far, what we have is do the first line again now. So we're going third to the second fret. Bum, diddy, bum, 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 diddy, bum, diddy try to stay on that fourth string and then 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 so you're gonna have a drop thumb there bum, first string bum, diddy, drop, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, bum. that's on the third string bum, or you could or you could just you hit the third string but it, once again it has that third string lead in note now the fiddle is going to go but we're just going to go Actually, there's a five chord behind them, so let's just um, you can use this little cheating thing. your G chord in D, right? But you don't get it for very long because right away you have a five chord. So... You don't have to do that. 
that note, but it's a nice. So you just get two nice bone ditties on the four chord. I'd hit the third string, ditty, bum, ditty. And now make your five chord here. So, bum, ditty, bum. Now hit your second string while you get your finger ready to, ready here at the fourth fret of the third string. So, bum, ditty, bum, bum. string bum diddy bum bum and try to just hit the third string bum diddy bum 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 diddy bum um so let me uh play this for you one more time so you can play along with it and you can even slow me down from here instruction was a little jumbled here on this one it's because I don't I don't play it often I and I don't have a set way of playing it and I would just be playing it how it moves me at the time so but the only thing I can say is that um, and if you're talking about what chords are underlying this say you just sat down and you didn't really know how to play it but you're in a jam if you can hear the chords, you can just be you be playing the chords, and the chords you'd be playing would be like how one chord, one chord, one, 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 five, 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 one, 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 four, five, 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 and five, five, one. I think the other one is exactly the same. The, the same chord structure. I don't know. Bum, one, 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 five. Now here's a part that sounds like it doesn't go with a five chord, but it really is. Five, 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 one, 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 four, five, and five, and five, and one. So you could do a pretty good fake job on this tune just by knowing where the chord changes were. How do you learn where the chord changes are? Well, look at the guitar player. Um, but you will learn to just hear them if you think of them enough. And um, this is a good tune to practice doing that too, with, on. Um, Part of a useful tool for helping transitioning to learning by ear instead of learning sort of note for note from a tablature or from a video from me whatever so more and more i'm going to be trying to steer my lessons a lot of lessons in the direction of how do you learn the tune um, if you don't know it um, and chords are a big part of that for me 
because lots of times the notes you're looking for are in the chords that would be underlying. Now, not all fiddle tunes have an accepted set of chords um, or something that fits neatly in a box, but this one does, so might as well use them. You got them. All right, good luck with this.